Uh, welcome at Onder de Poort from our side as well. I'm the Head of Student Administration at the Faculty of Ed Science. And I'm looking forward to uh, all of you guys being here one of these days. Um, what I want to um, uh, tell you about today is our selection criteria and what you have to do in order to apply either for the BVSC program or the DVN program. We offer the BVSC program, as Professor Olam says, it's a six-year program. On the um, that is on the undergrad level, as well as the DVN program. Uh, we also offer master's programs and doctoral programs. So once you have completed your undergrad studies, you can actually carry on with postgrad studies as well. Um, the DVN program is a two-year program. It's a very sought-after career choice. So if you have math, science, um, physical science, uh, biological sciences, and English in grade 10. There are very few students who do have that combination of subjects in, in, in matric, uh, actually not grade 10, in matric. Then uh, we really want you to, to think about the nursing course as a career choice. Um, we only have 15 minutes today to talk about the selection criteria. If you have any other questions specifically regarding the nursing option as a career choice, then Dr. Skeppers is here. If you can just stand up quickly, Dr. Skeppers. She's the, the mother of the nursing program, and she's willing to answer any questions that you might have regarding the nursing program, not only admission and selections, but also what do you do once you have completed a diploma in nursing. Thank you, Dr. Skeppers, for being here. Okay, let's start with the BVSC applications. Um, applications opened two, week, two, two days ago on Wednesday, and it will close on the 31st of May. So you can already apply, and when you apply, you only submit at this point of time uh, the application itself, which is online on, this, on the, the University of Pretoria's website, together with your grade 11 results, for those of you who are currently in grade 12, as well as a copy of your ID document. If you have completed grade 12 already, then you can submit your grade 12 results, as well as your ID document. No value-added forms at this point of time, please. Not as part of the application. Our admission requirements for the BVSC program, um, on your grade 11 marks, which is counting 80% towards your position on the selection list. You need to have at least an APS of 32, as well as English, Maths, and Physical Science with 60% or higher. Okay. We're not going to prevent you from applying if you don't have this scores, these scores, but the system will automatically send you a, a, a letter and saying, sorry, you don't meet our admission requirements, so you cannot apply for this program. The APS of 32 is the minimum that you must have, but please, it is not to say that you will be selected on an APS of 32. Because we're going to rank you according to your matric results, as well as according to the, your grade 11 results, as well as according to your value-added form, and then we select the top students on the ranking list. So the APS of 32 will only allow you to be on that list and not necessarily to be selected out of that list. The value-added form will count 20% towards your ranking on this list, and I'm going to show you a little bit more about the value-added form later on. And this value-added form will only be available on the portal after we have looked at your application. When you apply, you will get a notification from the university saying, that you have to log on to your portal to see what the progress of your application is. And they will also give you the, the, the steps on how to log on to the portal. Please don't expect any emails from us or any letters in the post. We're not going to send you anything via email or post. Everything that we communicate with you will be on the portal. So log on to that portal once a week, every fortnight, just to see whether we didn't send you any communications. The good news is no national benchmark test, test needed for the BVSC program anymore. Uh, 
Okay, those of you who don't get in for the BVSC, you might follow the route of a BSC, and the BSC might still expect from you to write the NBT, but they will communicate it then with you. Our selection, um, we have different cohorts in our selection program. We have students with, students with previous university experience from other in institutions, uh, graduates from UP and other institutions and international applicants and then obviously we have our um, grade 11 applicants. We receive about 1,700 applications every year and out of those 1,700 applications we choose 90 school leavers. So it is just to tell you that it is difficult to get in. People tell you, listen, it's difficult to get into vet science. They're not lying. It is really difficult to get in. We choose actually, or we select actually one of our, uh, out of every 10 students that apply for this program. And then if you do the BSc, we prefer that you do it at UP, because then we know we can give you the credits for the modules that you have completed at the University of Pretoria in the BSc program towards the, the BVSc. You may complete a BSc first year at another university, but then we cannot guarantee you that you will get the credits for the modules that you have completed there. It might then happen that you will have to repeat some of the modules or redo some of the modules in the first year for the first year at the Hatfield campus. The BSc second choices that you can put up is a BSc in Biological Science, the BSc in Greek Animal Science, or the BSc Zoology. Um, keep into consideration that it might happen, and I'm not going to burst your bubbles, I'm just sharing with you the harsh reality. It might happen that you will never get into vet science. And then your plan B will become your plan A. And for now, your plan B will be a BSc. But that BSc might determine your vocational career in future. So choose a BSc program that you can actually use and apply for future, for future plans and future references. The nursing program. Applications also from the 1st of March to the 31st of May. Admission requirements, your grade 11 marks will count 60% towards the selection list. You need an APS of at least 24. And in this case, you need English, Maths, Physical Science as well as Life Sciences with at least a 50% or higher. The value added form will count 10%. It's available on the UP portal once you're application is processed and all the value added forms for the BVSC program as well must reach us by the end of June. And the nurses still need the national benchmark test as well. So if you are applying for the DVN program you have to do the uh, NBT and the information is on the on their website and the last day to write it will be the 15th of July. Selection for both of these programs will take place in July and you will only hear from us whether you have been admitted or not around about the middle of August towards the end of August. For the nurses, we only have 50 places available, but usually we can place you if you apply. There's so few students who have the, 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 the four matric subjects that we don't get that many applications and we can usually fill our 50, 50 spaces that we have for the nurses. Very exciting program, really. If you care about animals, and you all say you do, and you want to, to uh, nurture them, and you want to keep them alive and not kill them, then you must become a nurse. <laughs> and not a veterinarian. <laughs> Okay, then people ask us about the value-added form. In short, the value-added form has different sections. 
The first one, um, where you have to provide evidence that you have exposure to animals. Secondly, your extramural activities, sport, culture, leadership, religious and adventures. Thirdly, animal experience, uh, specifically animals being killed for whatever purposes we need to kill them for. And then lastly, if you have worked with a veterinarian, a professional. Please um, take note that the focus for training veterinarians in, in this country is on production animals so that we can provide food not only for South Africa but for Africa as a whole and secondly to get some money from outside from the rest of the world into South Africa so that we can build our economy and how do we do that people from abroad what do they want to see in South Africa wildlife okay so our focus is on production animals and wildlife and when you complete this value added form, take that into consideration. <clears throat> In other words, spending a week on a farm with a <coughs> cattle farmer and see exactly what's happening there and helping there, not only observing, helping there, um, clean the, the, the stalls with the, with the, from the dung and whatever, that will obviously give you a little bit more uh, scores on the value added form than visiting the vet around the corner who's only looking after cats. I think you get my drift on how to complete the value added form. Are there any questions at this point of time? Anything regarding the admission requirements or the value added form? I think I've talked to most of you outside already. Yes, ma'am? <laughs> No, you can actually start in grade 8 getting experience, so we, we don't put a due date on your experience. Okay. Any other questions? If you want to contact us, if you battle with the online application or if you have any other questions, you can contact um, Riranzu who is our recruitment officer, or maybe more specifically, I think write down Paul's email address first, Paul Marku, she's dealing with all our prospective students and all the questions that they might have. There's also a telephone number that you can phone. Uh, I must say we have many people visiting us, and if we have people sitting in front of us, we do not answer the phone. So the best way to, to get hold of us is to send an email. You can also contact me. My email is very easy. It's Bessie, B-E-S-S-I-E, -S -S at up.ac.za. Without any surname, it's just Bessie at up.ac.za. Questions? If you still have questions, drop me an email. Thank you very much. Thank you, sister.